When doing angled layout work, an error of half a degree will be less than the thickness of a pencil line at two inches. But at two feet, it grows to almost a quarter of an inch. That's why it's critical to have your angles dead on when doing layout work on plywood projects. Woodpeckers has incorporated a very accurate detent locking protractor into the head of a T-square. The Posilock T-square will make sure your panel projects come together perfectly. The key to the posi lock is the precisely machined holes in the protractor and the spring-loaded tight tolerance detent ball that pops into them. Every five degrees, plus 22 and a half and 67 and a half, there's a distinctive stop in the head's rotation. There's no guessing. Set your angle, lock it in, and you're ready to go. Even when you're not laying out angles, you'll still love this tool. The satin finished stainless steel blade is laser cut with scribing guides every sixteenth of an inch. Hold the head on the edge of your stock, just drop your pencil in a slot, and slide along, laying down lines perfectly parallel to the edge of your stock. Posi lock simplifies critical dimensioning too. The head perfectly positions your zero point at the edge of your stock. The thin blade minimizes parallax error, and the laser engraved scale is held to a tolerance of four thousandths of an inch total accumulated error over the entire length of the tool. The PosiLock T-Square is available in 12, 24, and 32 inch blade lengths. You can get the size that fits your work best or buy the complete set. Plus, each one comes with a convenient wall mountable racket. The PosiLock T-Square, locked in accuracy for angled projects. Order yours today. The RT-0701C is a one and a quarter horsepower compact router. The router comes standard with a quarter inch collet and straight guide, and it takes industry standard template guides. The RT-0701C is used to create common profiles like classic bead, corner bead, bull nose profiles, and more. The router is also ideal for trimming edges on laminates and wood materials. The fixed base takes an optional dust port for improved dust collection. 
Some of the features on the router include smooth rack and pinion depth adjustment system for more precise settings, quick release cam lock system for easy depth adjustments and base removal or installation, and a heavy duty aluminum housing engineered for increased durability. The router accepts three optional bases. The plunge base can be used to cut grooves as well as dadoing, mortising or inlay pattern work. It also takes an optional dust port that attaches to the base. The base comes standard with three preset stops for added precision and it takes industry standard template guides. And it can also be used with the guide rail system for multiple applications. The tilt base provides routing at different angles. The offset base allows for routing in hard to reach areas and as close as three quarters of an inch to the wall. Milescraft is proud to introduce you to their fence clamps. These compact and lightweight fence clamps feature steel threaded components with a rigid aluminum body, an ABS handle to engage the clamping face, and a TPR clamp pad to help prevent marring on your tools or work pieces. These clamps have a range of travel from half an inch all the way up to five and three quarters of an inch. The clamping arm can easily fit into a three eighths of an inch hole in your auxiliary fences, and they weigh in just under one pound. The Milescraft fence clamps can be used with table saws, router tables, miter saws, and more. You can create an auxiliary or sacrificial fence by using something like the Milescraft Joint Mate, which you can see being used here. Setting up stop blocks on your miter saw helps to increase the efficiency and accuracy of your cuts throughout your project. You can ensure that your pieces will be secured and held at 90 degrees when you use these clamps along with the Milescraft clamp squares. These clamps are ideal for securing auxiliary or sacrificial fences to your table saw, router table, or bandsaw. For more information about this product or any other products featured in this video, please visit milescraft.com. Milescraft, always the better idea. The better idea. Gluing up panels can be a little bit stressful, but it doesn't need to be. Stick around and I'll show you some tips on how to make it a stress-free glue up. Start by clearing off your work area so you aren't knocking things over. Using a fixture like the Veritas clamp rails with the included platform saddles will allow you to focus on the panel and less on the clamps. They set up and tear down quickly and don't take up the valuable space a dedicated clamping surface does. Just do yourself a favor and put something underneath it all to save the work surface. The bars of the clamps sit just proud of the rail so that the panel is fully supported and you don't have to worry about the clamps falling over or shifting. Now you can focus on the alignment of the boards which will give you the best possible results and much less stress. Here I'm doing a dry run to confirm that all the joints are tight, a good habit to get into.
If you have an MFT or other bench with a hole matrix, you can use the included dogs with the platform saddles to set up a sturdy clamping fixture. The 20 volt max lithium ion circular saw offers fast cutting performance due to a motor that delivers 460 max watts out at 3700 RPM. The lightweight magnesium shoe provides the optimal combination of durability for long-term accuracy and lightweight to help keep contractors running strong. The optimized rubber overmolded comfort grip gives the 8-pound circular saw the desired balance and control for the remodeler, carpenter, or framer making cross, rip, plunge, or bevel cuts. Regardless of the application, DeWalt 20 volt max saws provide the performance, ergonomics, and features needed to get the job done. DeWalt 20 volt max lithium ion, maximum performance. a great new product, the new long nose marker thin with the white body. So our original long nose marker is very fat, great for working on Kaizen foam for a nice bold line. Sometimes you need a real thin line. Let me show you. So you want to trace around something. The nice thing about the long nose marker is that long metal shaft allows you to do very accurate and precise work, just like that. Okay, so you can get really detailed lines with no problem. So here we go, let's go ahead and look at this one. This is a really good one, right here. Go like that, go like that. See how you can get in all these little holes and you can do very accurate work all the way around, just like that. Now, if we do the same thing with the big one, just for contrast, so you see, it's a great marker, but it's for a different purpose. We need a big, bold line. You're cutting around something like Kaizen foam. This might be the right marker for you. But sometimes you want that nice precise line, then this is the one that you can do it with. So you want to get into a nice spot like this. There's our normal one. And then this would be the, the thin one. Ultra thin allows you to get in and do that precision work just like that. So you can get it at fastcap.com. Amazing. You guys are all familiar with our speed roller for helping apply fast edge. I'm here to introduce to you the new speed roller quad. What is the benefit of the speed roller quad, you might ask? Well, it comes for exactly the same price as the speed book. You can decide which one you want. With traditional speed roller, when you remove from the package, it comes with two sets of, uh, one set of rubber wheels and one set of steel wheels. The steel is great if you're applying a PVC fast edge to a board because they get the maximum pressure. However, if you're using a real wood, the steel wheels can mark up the wood. So we made it so that these wheels can be popped out and you can replace them with the rubber wheels for when you're doing a real wood application. However, this leads you to the problem of having to waste time mode, popping wheels in and out, and finding a nice pair of wheels where you're going to lose them. And let's all be honest, you're going to lose them. So, the Speed Roller Quad has one side with rubber wheels and one side with steel wheels. And all you have to do to switch is take your hand and flip it over. So there's a speed roller quad. There's all the same stuff as the original speed roller, but you don't have to change or store any wheels. You're gonna love this product. Switch is take your hand and flip it over. So there's a speed roller quad. There's all the same stuff as the original speed roller, but you don't have to change or store any wheels. You're gonna love this product. While the F-Style clamp is certainly one of the most useful and versatile available, there are certainly some clamping applications that make it difficult to get a good grip on the handle. Bessie's innovative gear clamp is the solution. While functionally the same as an F-Style clamp and priced to compete with typical one-handed clamps, the handle has been moved to surround the clamp bar while still operating the Acme screw at the end of the arm. What makes this possible is an innovative gear train sealed within the clamp arm, allowing for the Acme screw to be operated remotely, a feature not found on any other clamp. 
This means that in tight locations where an F-style handle may be obstructed, the handle of the gear clamp is outside of the working area, allowing for a proper grip and reliable clamping. In addition, the arm of the gear clamp features a clutch mechanism, which allows the arm to be closed with just a push, then released with a simple trigger, allowing for pre-setting the arm position when needed.